Hi, it's Willem here again. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to log into the LMS system through uh, or via different type of portals or tools or browsers. So um, it's highly recommended that you either use Chrome um, as your browser um, if you're going to do it from your desktop or from your laptop because Chrome has capabilities of recording voice back um, and there's a feature actually where students can record their own voices or you can recognize a voice um, for certain type of uh, questions or activities. So yeah, I'm going to use Word of Life in this example. I'm going to log in as a student first. Okay, so I've logged in as a student, Lorraine Nelson. The student can have their own profile here. So they have the dashboard, they have their profile, they can see grades if you use it, the grading. So if you're not going to use the LMS as a 100% system, you don't need the grade option. There's a, a message system, so students can message the teacher, teacher can message them back, and they can also message the uh, students in their class as well to chat to them about homework. If there was messages, I can actually go and view message drawer, and here if I have notifications, or any notification will show there will be a new notification here. Okay, so at the moment, the student has access to two courses, Grade 4 Afrikaans. If the student is in Grade 4, they will see, let's say, Grade 4 Afrikaans, Grade 4 Maths, Grade 4 Science, whatever subjects they have in Grade 4. So at the moment, it's just these two courses that are loaded. And here they've got private files, so students can upload small files to the uh, LME system. Let's say some homework or just uh, files they need to use for homework as well. So you can also see other users. So let's say there was other users logged into the system. We were able to see them and also click on their names and send their message. The system can also use badges. Uh, badges will be like a newbie badge or kind of badge. You can think out different badges and sign badges. The students are very active on the system and it's like we call it gamification. In other words, the, they can earn badges on the system. It's also something that can be put off. Here we've got our calendar. So let's say the teacher has different teachers. Let's say a math teacher and Afrikaans and English teacher has created the assignments that need to be finished. They can actually put it on the calendar and the students can actually go and see what um, needs to be done by when. The student can also update their own calendar and set own reminders on their calendar as well. Events, so uh, events will actually tie in with the calendar. You can filter your courses by uh, course name or you can change your layout if you want to, not blocks and you can have lists. Um, here's the nav navigation, so yeah, I can see my courses. I've, I'm booked into Afrikaans grade four and also into demo uh, lessons. So let me just quickly show you if I click on uh, grade four. Now remember, I'm, I'm busy here in Chrome. I'm gonna show you just how the app works or the desktop app as well. Logged in here and the teacher, what the teacher has done, here's an announcement for this week and this announcement can change daily or every 30 minutes. The teacher has access to change this message here. Here they've got a chat room, a klitskamer, just for this uh, grade four students as well, where they can go and chat. Um, about courses and like I said this can be removed doesn't need to be there and what we can see is this course um, as there's a few different weeks homework and teachings here you know, let's say this has been uh, used this LME system for all year the whole year's uh, curriculum will be here and it can be drip feeded in other words uh, a teacher can actually create the online learning beforehand and uh, students will only see the learning um, as the dates arise and they can set the lessons to only appear when they need to appear. appear. So what we've seen is a lot of schools asking us just to use LMS as a plain system like Google uh, Classes where the user or the teacher just uploads PDFs and uh, sound and video files and the students need to be able to download uh, these files. So I, I call this quick mode. So I want to demo in the next video how the quick mode and the difference between the interactive mode. And uh, yeah, I, I think if you can do your classes or your lessons in interactive mode, you're moving to a new level of teaching and just to be able to download uh, documents and PDFs and homework like that. So what's nice about the system is that students can actually go and sync or download uh, all of this content to the app 
and uh, then uh, if they don't have internet access and they have downloaded the content they can do the, the content or the homework offline in other words um, students can actually move into the school from uh, let's say the school has free Wi-Fi and uh, they can actually come to the school log into the school's Wi-Fi they can download the courses and then leave to go home the other option is they can climb onto the, their home um, internet uh, or the, the parents can do it they can sync the courses they don't have to do it it can be done live but uh, yeah they can sync the courses and afterwards the parent can actually put off the internet so the student can do their homework uh, or do their lesson offline so i'm going to show you an app how it works it actually works nice um, so yeah yeah i've just got an example here so let's this is the same course it's just a quick mode and interactive mode so i just want to show you guys what the teacher has done here the teacher has actually uploaded a audio file and three pdfs and what will happen now is if we click on uh, into the story this is an audio file the system is actually going to want to download the audio file to the computer and then it can be listened to offline so i see that this is a way that um, currently schools are using google classroom but the student needs to download all the content and there's no teaching actually um, it's just the documents that they have to read through same here so here's instructions for less in and if i click on it it's going to want to download uh, a pdf document and the student has to go through the pdf document themselves so in this way um, it's still good the, the student still gets information uh, it's a good way to uh, maybe set up homework for the day or for the week but yeah, it's, there's no teaching or learning happening because the kids are only just downloading a document and following what the document is saying. So yeah, you've got a progress. If you've done something, you can mark off your progress and so on. So let's just go to our interactive mode. I want to show you guys how it looks. So this is our interactive mode. You can see it looks it really looks different. So let's say I, I click on this button here. So what has happened here is we've embedded the video or the sound instead of downloading it to your uh, computer you can actually go and sit and listen to it in the LME system itself so what i'm going to do uh, let me just peace on my help the acne done do not itself so this is a uh, um, a teacher actually reading out of the book and the kids can actually read along now but they can now do it inside of the LME system they don't have to download the file and do it um, from there so let's go to the I'm not gonna just want to show you some of the examples that can be done the type of interactive learning can be so this is for kids on in grade 4 but I mean uh, the same type of tools can be used for, for older kids um, as well and you can make it interesting for the kids to do. Um, learning is learning so we learn through uh, interactive seeing and doing uh, and following. So uh, this is just a way that uh, you can actually drag images to a word, uh, donkey, you have to do it nicely, uh, And then I can check and it's actually going to, if I did it wrong, it will tell me there's a, a fault. And here you can see I can actually get points uh, as well. So it says, well done, I've got six out of six. And much more can be done now. So there can be a message that uh, the teacher can also tell the student, well done, go and do this next. Or let's say they failed, they can actually tell them to go and read the story again or do whatever needs to be done to understand uh, this type of teaching. So I'm using basic teaching just to show you guys if the basic stuff can work for grade fours I'm sure you can teach grade seven eight nine and ten with the same system so with this uh, type of uh, interactive learning we can tell yes the word what for hard or so any key so what I need to do yes I'm gonna test it for you I'm gonna say push, uh, push to speak any key so what the system actually did it actually recognized that I was talking Afrikaans and it says Moi so well gedaan. Let's just go back again. So I've refreshed this and let's do it wrong. Hamster. So I picked up that uh, didn't do it right. So it says prepare V and I can actually uh, retry. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of them. Yes, cut. So I can say cut. And it actually says I did it right. So uh, let's just go to something else. 
So this is just another type of doing lessons with Adidas in your story. So there was three. So I can actually type three and the system will actually mark three. And I can also type three and it will also check it. So if I say three, it's going to say it's right or three. So the teacher can see that as well. And it's so easy to do. It sounds difficult, but you can actually reuse and embed this again to use it. So yeah, uh, again, it's just a filling thing. What you can string here. So if I put something there, like a uh, say a rabbit, it's gonna say there isn't a rabbit in the story. It's gonna say sorry, this near Ahni. Yes, ABC type of questions. Nilipata is the right one. And it's gonna show me to go to the next one. So yeah, I can search for word like cut. So this cut. And then we can look for millies. So what's nice about this is the, the teacher will actually put in these words and the system will actually create this by itself. Uh, you don't have to sit and create this whole thing. So let's do want. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, quite cool. So it's going to tell me I've got three out of six. I must do the list as well. So let's just go to another type of question or learning that can happen. Yeah, it can be you have to type in want. Can't. Oh, this is already. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create a video so you guys can see all the different types of features and uh, I'm also creating one that uses math for grading type of math. So here you can drag words. So what happened here is the actually the teacher has um, explained what to do. So I'm just going to play. play. Schrijf die sinne in die verlede tyd, die voorbeeld. Die rooie hennikie plant die millipitte. Antwoord. Die rooie hennikie het die millipitte geplant. So what's nice here, the teacher can actually talk to the uh, the student and explain how to do the... So any question can be done like this. It can also be a video here where the, uh, we can see the teacher's face or a picture of the teacher and a whiteboard which you can actually teach and then we have the, the work that can be done to test if the child is uh, taught. This option here again we've got the uh, theory spelling lister now the senior boy and scribe it near so uh, the child has to lis listen to the, the, the sentence and then type the whole sentence here Die leidiere wil nie die rooie hennikie help nie. So yeah, you can type in your whole sentence and also check it. Three more to show you guys and uh, I will show you the, all the other functions later on. So what's nice about this one here, you can actually um, also listen to this and here the, the student can actually dictate the sentence back. Um, now this can, can be nice if you have uh, uh, students that need to dictate uh, or verbal answers. Ek het vandag self my mini pitte geplant. Ek was baie blij daar oor, maar ek was ook hard teer, want my vriende wil my nie help nie. Hulle is leid. Ok, now the student can press record. Ek het vandag self my mini's water gegee. Ek was so gelukkig, want ek weet hulle gaan mooi groen. En ek, I can listen back. Ek het vandag self my mini's water gegee. Ek was so gelukkig, want ek weet hulle gaan moe. Ok, so let's go to the next one. So, the hier is sing tyd. So, what we have done here is I've embedded a smart video, uh, or interactive video, what they call it. And uh, so, other words, the, now I didn't have the teacher to uh, record this video for me, um, but I used uh, uh, quite irritating, but yeah, a video from the internet. And just to show you, we, and actually what will happen here, when I play, the video is going to, at certain places, stop and give the, the child uh, things to do, activities. So uh, this can be used in biology or science, where you actually show uh, the kid something, or the student, and then pause it at certain times, and then ask them questions about what they've seen. So <coughs> this is about, I think, build a banana or something song. This is an instructive video for how to so sing the peel the banana song up, to young campers. And it's a, the year in the video is Ma'am Osbrook. 
no it isn't it isn't there so i'm going to say it's false i'm going to say check and say 100 percent you've got it correct make so sure you let them sing along song. and copy first you to this lady sing bananas. go go bananas first you form the orange form form the so yeah it gives the the children take a spring up and sing song and they may have to do it in so yeah it's a nice way to teach uh, Smaller kids online. Orange, then you form. Eat the apple. Eat, eat the apple, then you eat the apple. You saw can be as millis and pisangs as what's a clear. You can say, let's say, do, do, it, do it wrong. It's gonna say, yeah, it is rachni, it is gil. Eat, eat the apple. First you form the corn. Form, form banana, then you form. And uh, here we've got something where you can fill in um, blank words and check them. Bananas. And here we've got uh, kies die rechte sin, katte is die meervoud van kat, kat of katte. Select that one. And it will actually give us a summary of what has been done and you can submit your answers to the teacher. Now this score can be set as well. So you can be, you can give, let's say, for war of onward tight, you can point out of 10 and this one of 20 and that one out of 30. Okay, so uh, that's one way to do teaching for videos. Um, I've seen guys using this, for, like I say, for the, for the big kids as well. Especially a teacher creates a whiteboard and they do teaching and then stop the teaching and say, okay, listen, yeah, now you're going to have to answer questions about what I've done with you. So here we've got a whiteboard type of learning. The video can actually be downloaded as well, yeah. You can see here's the link, if I click on it, it's gonna download the video. But uh, yeah, if I've used this example to show you guys, you can use whiteboard training. So you can actually train on a whiteboard and then embed it in the website. And what's nice again, the technical side is, these videos can't lie on YouTube if you want to do zero rating, in other words, not pay, like I explained in the previous video. So if you want Vodacom and to not charge for this this video feed, this is going to have to be embedded into the server itself and not from YouTube. Okay, so you have to just it's like working on a, a whiteboard. And we've, been, we've got tools here on the side as well. And if you teach more senior type of students, your whole teaching can actually be, be done on a whiteboard because images can be changed and videos can be done and you can type over them and mark with markers. You have uh, pointers that you can point to and it can be embedded and downloaded as well. Okay, so that was more information about more interactive type of learning so what i'm going to do there's going to be another video that's going to show more of the interactivity what other options there are quite a lot of options and also show you how you can do uh, exams and quizzes in detail there's an option where you can create question banks and when you create a quiz the system can actually go and pull questions out of the question bank you can randomize exam for each student so uh, each student will write a different exam online it will um, also uh, monitor them in time so you can give the student 20 minutes or half an hour even an hour to do the exam there's eight type of, uh, of questions that can be submitted even essays can be submitted abc questions filling questions so yeah it can be done uh, online so i'm going to do that in a different video i just wanted to show you guys how the uh, lms looks and feels 